Missing in action, prisoners of war. What's up guys? I just recorded um, the United States flag and a black and white flag. Prisoners of war missing in, our, in action. You know, the money that the United States spends to go over to other countries and uh, police is what I like to uh, call it. Police other countries and intervene in other countries. You know, we still have people here that are starving. We still have people here that are homeless. And most of those are the ones that and, served. You know, you got money for war, but can't feed the poor, you can't house them. You know, it's too much money being spent on violence and not enough money being spent on the people who deserve to have true freedom, you know, a place to live. I believe that if you served in the United States military or any military, the government hmm. should have to ha and give you a house. There's no excuse for veterans to be homeless on the street or hungry or hungry you should uh, your i mean it, it, your services should be paid for i mean no matter what the cost you should have housing for the rest of your life food for the rest of your life you shouldn't have to go apply for anything You know, it seems like the United States wants you to do everything in your power for them, but in return they give you nothing. You have to fight for what is rightfully yours. People died for this country. People died for us. People died for their brothers and sisters, for our brothers and sisters. And yet you see people holding up signs, homeless veteran, need help. That should never have to happen. There should be no you, mother, child, uh, veteran, none of that should be sick, without medical care, without food, without shelter, none of that. The United States. Anybody, any living soul shouldn't be. United we stand, divided we fall. Are we really united? I don't know. That's a question you have to ask yourself. I know I can't sit around and watch somebody uh, be hungry. No. It's just me though, because I've been there myself, and you know, it, it. Although we're not pushing a buggy and holding a sign and whatnot, you know, poverty is still here. We need to do everything that we can. This is how I look at it. All help. this money that's out here, there should be no reason why anybody should be without. No reason. I mean, everybody should have the same amount of money. Everybody should have, you know, it shouldn't be, oh, this person's rich and this person's poor. No. It should be spread out equally and everybody be... Well, you know, you have some people that worked hard for their money. Yeah, I and understand it, I mean, that, but... re regardless of the money that you have, it, I mean, that doesn't matter. The, I'm talking about the government. The government should not have one single person living on the streets if they don't want to be, if they don't have to be. Right. I mean, they, they can make government projects and put people in them. These hospitals that they're buying and doing these lab experiments... Shriners Hospital went for $30 million in Lexington. That could be a homeless, uh, a, a homeless, uh, you know, unit. You can put people in there and have them go through programs and um, make sure that they do their drug and urine test and, and things that like that. That's pretty big. And, my kid went there. And yes, and th 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 that's more than enough, you know, stability for a homeless person to be off the street or for a veteran to be off the street, which is what we're talking about. Anyway, we love you guys, and uh, God bless you, and remember, 
It doesn't matter where you're from. As people, we're all the same.